In this video, I'll show you how I installed some SciTech switch panels in a confined space. I wondered, if I install a monitor on the instrument panel, will I still have enough room for the SciTech switch panels? Yes! I used an inexpensive 18 and a half inch monitor and the switch panels fit on either side. And if I ever decide to remove the monitor, I'll have enough room for a modified keyboard. My SciTech switch panels were attached to a 1x6 board. I wanted to stack one panel directly over the other and found that I needed to use a larger 1x8 board. A 1x8 is 7 and a quarter inches tall and that's enough room for two switch panels to fit one above the other. Once I knew exactly where I wanted the switch panels, I drilled one inch holes to allow room for the USB cable from each switch panel. I made some drawings that show all the measurements I used in this project. There's a link to them in the show notes. Some of the mounting screws are just half an inch from the edge of the board. Drill pilot holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit to prevent the edge of the board from splitting when you attach the screws. Again, we're using number 8 sheet metal screws 2 inches long, just like we did in the last video. Two of these mounting screws are closer to the middle of the board. You don't have to drill pilot holes for these. Do not tighten the screws too much or you will damage the switch panel. Just make them snug. Be careful! See the screwdriver slipped off the screw and almost scratched the switch panel. So take your time. At the other end of the board, I drilled a pilot hole and started attaching the screw in the upper right hand corner. For the left side, I inserted a screw and pressed it into the wood so it would leave an indentation. Then I drilled a pilot hole at that point and then attached the top left screw. I used the same process to drill a pilot hole and attach a screw in the upper right hand corner of the next switch panel. The panel is right up against the edge of the switch panel above it. Attach a screw in the upper left corner. Next attach this screw in the top switch panel. I inserted the bottom two screws and pressed them into the wood to mark their locations. Then I drilled pilot holes and attached the screws. When you finally have the switch panels attached exactly where you want them, remove them and paint the board. I'm using tinted primer like I used with all my projects. After one side is dried, flip it over and paint the other side. The paint is dry to the touch, but it can still stick to the support boards below it when it sits overnight. I'm setting it on top of a few screws to allow the paint to keep drying completely. After the paint dried, I could only attach one switch panel before I installed the board in the flight simulator, and I'll show you why. Notice there are four places to attach the board. Well, I can install the left switch panel and still reach these two attachment points. I can't do that on the right side because the switch panels will block access to the attachment points. So go ahead and attach all four deck screws to the flight simulator frame. Then the final step is to attach the switch panels on the right side. Oh, there's one more important thing I needed to do. I did have to relocate the drink holder. I attached it to the right support pillar. 